Good morning, everybody. It is barely morning anymore. I'm still in my dressing gown. The <laughs> plan this morning was to start vlogging nice and early. Stayed here last night. I was like, get an early night, get up early, start the vlog. I was woken up before the sun was up by a crane on my road lifting a bit one of my neighbors is having their garden redone there is a crane in the road right now there are actually two they are very noisy like you know when a bus is like stationary on the road and it's like making the whole road shake kind of you know it has been so loud so that is why it is like 11 o'clock and i am coming at you now because i haven't actually been able to speak to the camera before this point because it has just been so loud but me and Nala have had a good snuggle. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, she was like, she didn't even get out of bed. That's when you know it's early because Nala was just like still in her bed like, huh? And she sat there <laughs> for about an hour until I like was like, you want to come have your breakfast? Because it's in the bowl, honey. So I've done my makeup. I've actually put a fresh layer of tan on because I hadn't tanned in so long and I just threw my dressing gown on over the top um, because it's not particularly like tight. And then I just ended up staying in it for about two hours. So I've just been doing some organizing bits, ordered people's like Prosecco and things like that to their houses as like Christmas treats who I'm not gonna like get to see or be anywhere near this Christmas. So feeling nice and organized. I do need to go out later and pick up some final bits for my Christmas shop because I just don't want to do that in my week off and I know it will be quieter now so I need to just go and get some Christmas food bits this afternoon I think I'm really dreading it I don't leave the house very often now and when I actually have to leave the house I'm like hmm I don't want to that's where we are at this morning feeling slightly more organized than I have been recently I've really been neglecting myself a lot lately so it's just nice to be up fresh organized you know ready to vlog are you feeling good this morning you sunbathing. <laughs> now, before I get dressed, I need SPF. I have been using some serious skincare lately, which has been doing some amazing things for my skin, but it means that I have to use this like every single day. smells like lavender which is gorgeous but try not to inhale it too much because it's SPF and I'm sure that's not good. I'm going to talk you through my skincare routine a little bit later because that along with a few other things is one of the things that I'm going to be changing for 2021. This year it was like strip everything back and I've got good products which I'm going to talk you through in this vlog and a good like game plan for 2021 and honestly people keep saying to me what do you want for Christmas I'm like clear skin and COVID stop ruining in everyone's lives, you know? But I am gonna get dressed and I'll sit down with you and chat about that further because I just feel like when you're nearing midday, is it still acceptable to be in your dressing gown? I know it's 2020 and all bets are off, but I'm not allowing this for myself, not right now. sums up my life so i have a really wet sleeve now <laughs> not ideal given the fact that i just fake tanned at least this is my last day of vlogging so if i have a patchy arm no one, how would they know how will they know i love that i came to sit in my kitchen because i thought it would be quieter it's not i put like a mint syrup in my hot chocolate today mm. 90% of the time I'm able to hold it together when I do like a little heart to heart but I'm, I'm not sure today so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Laura might just have like 20 minutes of footage of me like sobbing and I am going to make jokes throughout this because whenever I try and like make a serious video I can't get really uncomfortable being at all open so we'll see how this goes. I might cry or I might just like be hysterically laughing. Or I'll just sit here for 20 minutes deep breathing. <laughs> 
This year has had great things for me and I'm very privileged in the way that I have managed to remain mostly untouched by this pandemic, but across the board for everyone, it has been a crap year. I can't even make awkward jokes here because it has just been so awful and I'm very thankful and grateful that it has worked out the way it worked out for me but I definitely wouldn't say I've remained completely unaffected by this and I was hoping this could kind of be a safe space for me to open up without um people kind of jumping the gun and telling me that I should just be grateful and shut up because I'm so like I acknowledge my privilege on so many levels of my life like I I get that. But that is what has made this year so frustrating for me, is how awful my anxiety has become despite the privilege that I have and the blessings that have come my way this year. Um, it's, it is really frustrating on a personal level to be this level anxious when the critic in my head is like, you have nothing to be anxious about. This year has taken a toll on everyone, like mentally and physically. There's a certain amount of strain that comes with being on all the time and you're able to cope for so long. And after that, it starts to get harder. And when you get like six months into a pandemic, that I think was when it was around September was when it really started to take its toll on my mental health. Like I can do like, you know, September through December are some of my busiest times of the year. I'm very like, go, go, go. So my mind is used to like being able to kind of go for about four months and then need some like respite. But with this pandemic, there has been obviously like no respite really. It's a constant stressor. The effect that it's having on the world has been constant and progressing. And it was around September time that I really started to feel it take an effect on me mentally. It's starting to have an effect on me physically. Like lots of people keep telling me I look great. And do you know what? If if it had been under other circumstances and I were like going to the gym a lot and leading a really healthy, happy life, I would agree with you. But given the stress that my, I would say my mind has been under, it has had a knock on effect on my body and you know my weight has dropped since September it dropped already earlier in the year but it's definitely dropped over the past like three months as well and to the point where I d I'm not really particularly happy about it but it's very difficult to talk about at the moment like I know lots of people be like let me get my tiny violin out <laughs> and I I feel that way about myself all the time and um, that's fine but yeah this year has been the most like i haven't been this level of like anxiety since 2016 where i kind of had to step back a lot um it's yeah and the thing is i can't really even put my finger on why i'm like yeah but why like your life is fine like why are you it's just obviously been a huge change and everyone is having to adapt their life to this. I've kind of realized lately, like I'm going to have to adapt my life and even the way I work day to day a lot in order to just get through the next year, basically. So yeah, I'm gonna just put it out there and say I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing well. I'm not at 100% at the moment, but yeah, I need to make some life changes. Nothing is gonna be happening here to my channel that I plan anyway, but I need to introduce exercise back in my into my routine for sure. That is something that I've really struggled with at the moment. People are like, you look so great. What workouts are you doing? And I'm like, I haven't exercised. I don't remember the last time I exercised. So with that in mind, 2021, I need to have like a gentle exercise routine. I need to make sure that I'm eating enough, if not more than maybe I need. I'm not really sure what my body is doing at the moment, but, but I'm not exercising and weight is just dropping off. So I need to make sure my um, like consumption every day is enough. My diet has changed so much in the past year. I used to exercise so heavily because I was always eating out. I was always with my friends, we were always socializing and then that stopped and we were in lockdown and then eventually the takeaways, well, the, the junk food kind of lessened up because my skin was freaking out and then the takeaways lessened up because my skin was freaking out. Lots of parts of my diet changed whilst I was cutting 
things out to see if like dairy affected my skin to see if sugar affected my skin to see if this that like honestly the list was long i didn't test everything because to be honest if i'd taken on every single thing that every single person told me to test there would have been literally nothing to eat except i think rice i don't i don't think it's like an ingredient related hello i'm going to be distracting so my diet and exercise routine is going to need to change next year in a way that i've never really changed it up before i've always been like more like moderate cardio hit workouts weight training i still would like to get back into weight training because my body feels so weak i'm hoping if i just start off with like some gentle yoga it'll be really great for my mind but also for my body as well and yoga is very like intense really once you get into it and hopefully that will help with my whole body and my muscle groups and everything i'm concerned about but those are definitely two things that i desperately want to invest my time and bring power into for 2021 i think this year more than ever has showed how important it is to make sure that you are the healthiest that you can be and right now i just don't I don't feel like a healthy human being mentally or physically and i think day to day whilst i am allowing myself like space to like heal process just generally bounce back from the past like four months of my life like four months of like serious anxiety um i think i need like a slower daily pace so i'm looking forward to trying that out really from tomorrow onwards but like definitely from the 1st of january i mean from tomorrow onwards like i am just going to be caterpillaring in my duvet for like until boxing day basically <laughs> so you need to give myself space to feel things as well because even throughout this video i regularly remind myself that so many other people have it worse off than I do but it's still okay to feel the things that you're feeling like you can be a very privileged person and still suffer with like depression and anxiety mental health issues do not discriminate but if I'm not feeling better by the end of January I'm going to put back into therapy because I just think that it is such an important thing to do if you're doing everything that you should be that you know is good for yourself like having done four years of therapy really I know how to like strip back and kind of start again and rebuild i know these things should benefit me but if i don't feel better by the end of january that is definitely going to be a top of my list because it is a struggle right now and i want to be able to be really open and personable with you and continue that throughout 2021 but this year it has been so difficult and that is why there's been a lot of like fashion videos and stuff like that because it's just so difficult to be open and vulnerable and quite raw even just on a personal even like, like oh i'm making a cup of tea and i'm really happy about it like i don't feel comfortable even saying that on camera at the moment i don't feel like my anxiety is so bad that i don't ever feel like i'm saying something that isn't going to offend anybody but yeah that is my changes for 2021 i would love to know if you are planning on making any changes to your life or adapting anything in any way as well it might make me feel slightly better to know that i'm not alone yeah i've been talking for a long time so major apologies to lauren because that that's not gonna be fun to edit i'm so sorry Okay, we have had some deliveries. Very excited to tuck into these. First up, we have a lovely fragrance from All Saints. This is one of my favourites, and this is to celebrate the fact that they are launching um, on Boots. So you can now get the full range. I think before you could get three of the fragrances, and now you can get, I think it's this one in Leather Skies on Boots as well, which is amazing. These are some of the best fragrances. Like, they smell like a high-end fragrance. They last like a high-end fragrance, but they're not priced like a high-end fragrance. And the, the packaging is just stunning as well. So I just really rate these. These are my favourite fragrances. We have some bits from free people. They offered to send me some things and asked if I would show you what I picked up. And I actually needed some more active wear, so I decided to pick that up and thought it might hopefully inspire me to really get into my yoga over the Christmas season and then ongoing from then. Um, so I picked up some active wear in these parcels, which I'll take you through now. It's mostly active wear. I think there might be a couple of other bits as well, uh, but I will link everything down in the description box for you with like sizing and everything like that. So first up, it's not even active wear. 
ignore me. There's one piece of knitwear and I have been fully distracted by it, but it's this lovely, oh God, it's so soft. I feel like a little polar bear. This knit is so incredibly soft. It's very fine, but I feel really nice and toasty in it. It's got this lovely kind of big slouchy neck. You could wear it like this if you wanted to, but I just kind of like positioned it up and back and I love it. It's also got like really big sleeves. I paired it with my mom jeans, but I think it would also just look lovely with a pair of black uh, high-waisted leggings. It's kind of like a mid length. It's not long, but it's not cropped. So I think it would look lovely tucked into anything high-waisted. And I love mixing leggings with like a white knit. Black and white is obviously just a lovely combination, especially if you're a neutral lover like me, but white and blue also always looks lovely together. So that's just how I paired it for now. But this is this is actually gorgeous. Moving on from knitwear, this top is one of the pieces that I was most excited to arrive. Honestly, this colour is just gorgeous. It's like this really rich, deep tan tone. It is so beautiful. I actually love, like at first I was like, oh god, mesh in this area with my boobs, like is not, <laughs> that is not my vibe. But actually this cut gives the most like flattering effect. A very welcome surprise. I was not expecting this. So yeah, Ooh, loving the shutters. Yes, this is what I wanted. I did not want a shot of green grass whenever I was showing you my outfit. This is banging, I love it. Oh, so nice to be able to stand back and not be like wedging my camera angle this way. I'm a fan. When it came, it was tiny. Like I was like, there is no way that is going over my head, let alone my boobs. But it's actually really stretchy, which is a pleasant surprise. I love the racer back. Beautiful. I'm actually really impressed with this. The thing I liked about the act of wearing free people is I haven't really seen anything like it anywhere else. You know, I have my like black tops, my white tops, and you know, there are a couple of those in this, but they're a little bit different. Like everything that they do has a little bit of a different twist to it. And I really liked that. This one is the most gorgeous color, but sadly it is too big for me. It's padded on the front, which sometimes I think can be great, but if it doesn't fit quite right, it just never works, sadly. So I don't know if you can see at the back, it is like gaping here. I've done the straps up to be like the tightest that they can be. It has adjustable straps, which is amazing. And obviously for my chest length, I really needed that, but but because I've adjusted it to my size, you can tell that I actually could have done with a smaller size because the back's not quite right. It's got too much material here. So I will be returning this one, but it is the most gorgeous color. This next one is an amazing sports top. I've been looking for something like this for when I fancy the occasional run. I'm trying not to run too much at the moment, but there are just some days, you know, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but there are just some days when I just, I really want to run and during the winter it's that much harder because normally I would run in just like a sports top, you know, my sports bra, the heavy duty ones of course. But in the winter I found that I didn't really have anything. I have one top and it is still quite thin whereas this is beautiful and so thick. I love the material on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a lovely like rib to it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got a zip as well. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one handed. We're getting there. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so that will keep me nice and warm during the winter. I really like the zip feature. It also makes this incredibly easy to get over your head. Um, if you are wearing like makeup or anything like that, or you just don't really want to mess up your hair. Fits so beautifully. I'm actually really, really happy with this. Nice and snug, has little hand bits. Yeah, it's lovely. They also had a more lightweight white version, which I thought I would give a go. This one is not as fitted. So I think I prefer the black one in terms of the fit. If this was a little bit more like structured, I think I'd be so on this because you guys know I love a white. It definitely looks thicker on camera, but in real life it is like slightly thinner. I think you can probably see like a little um, bit of my leggings, like where it cuts off. It could be a lovely summer option. I think for me, the black, the black is the one. This next one I love. I really love the cut of the back. I've just not seen anything else really like it. It's so, so gorgeous. It's also a little bit different to my other black sports tops that I've had in the past because it actually has like a little bit of distressing on it, which is kind of hard to show. I think you can see around here, you can tell it's like a little bit more distressed. But yeah, definitely a really lovely yoga top. I probably wouldn't like do anything high intensity in this, but I just love having yoga tops that feel a little bit more special. This next top is cute. When I got it out of the pack, I was like, oh, really, how am I gonna feel about this little cutout bit that it has? but I actually don't mind it. And I really like the fact that it comes down quite low. So it's tucked into my leggings really nicely. And I think this will be a great one on mornings when it's maybe a bit more chilly, but I still wanna like 
get on my mat or eventually if I go back to the gym this would just be a great winter sports top obviously with like a sports bra underneath I do struggle throughout the winter in terms of like knowing what to wear I just didn't really have enough long sleeved tops in my workout wardrobe so this was definitely a great addition hear me out i snuck two dresses into my order partly because when it comes to dresses i'm very specific and i'm more of a kind of like pick them up when you see them kind of person rather than oh it's like insert season i need this because um sometimes the things that are on sale and the things that are like trends aren't the things that i actually want to wear at the time and i just thought this dress was absolutely beautiful and it would be something that i would wear both in the summer but in autumn as well because of the tone of it it's just absolutely stunning it's almost kind of festive so i might be about to throw my christmas day wardrobe out the window and wear this because i just think it's so beautiful it's got the most gorgeous back as well like it is very festive <laughs> i feel like a little Christmas wreath in this tone it's beautiful I love this kind of color as well so I just thought it would be a great addition to my dress wardrobe and this is an example of one of those pieces that I would be looking for in the summer and not able to find so I've picked it up now I'm aware that it's only really me that does that but that's okay this is one of those dresses that I know I would get so much wear of in the summer and the tone like the color of it is just so me like I love this tone like I'm all for a neutral I love a beige I love a biscuit tone this is like the kind of stuff that sets my soul on fire I absolutely love it I'm also very aware right now by the way that my face and my body do not match but that's because in about three or so hours I'm gonna get real dark real fast so I've kind of like preemptively <laughs> matched my face to the color that my body will be soon but yeah anyway I love the fit of this dress I love how flowy it is like the back of it it's got this like dip hem it is like the perfect Ibiza dress so I will be saving it until I eventually one day get to go back I'm so aware that last dress was very unseasonal just let me have this one I'm having a life crisis but I'm back in my roll neck now after having spilt hot chocolate all down my arm. I'm wearing this black cable knit today. You can't even see the cable knit. It's got very dark in this room now, now that the shutters are up. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing this gorgeous black cable knit and then a black pair of skinny jeans. And that is it, just keeping it simple today. My hair, this is annoying me. It was in a bun, it was looking cute in a bun and now it's like, <laughs> what is that? I'm just sorting out my skincare bag because I'm going to stay at Ryan's tonight and I thought I would talk you through my current kind of skincare products that I'm using as I pack them in and what I'm going to be using going forward next year and really like sticking to in order to get my skin hopefully looking its best. This year I think I made real progress with my skin just in terms of like stripping things out and finding out what was causing irritation, what was maybe congesting my skin and just generally figuring out you know what was uh, not doing the most for my skin. My skin issues have definitely been for the most part I would say not related to too many products I think there are definitely some products that congest my skin a little bit too much and especially if I use them in certain ways or I leave them on my skin for too long my skin doesn't gel and things get congested one thing that I found that I was doing was actually I was trying to do like at home extractions way too much I actually for the past three months I want to say I have not squeezed a spot Actually, maybe I did one and it was the one, it always scarred, they're my chin ones. You can't see the scarring because I'm wearing makeup, but my chin spots are very scarred because I made the mistake of trying to extract a spot and they blow up on my face if I try and do that. Even if they come to a head, 
I just have found the best thing to do now is not to touch them and the scarring from not touching them is so much more minimal and easy to exfoliate away. It's almost like there's not as much trauma to the skin so it doesn't go as deep and the scarring's not as deep. So I literally, I'm just like not squeezing spots anymore. That is it. So I've had a few on my cheek that have taken a little while to go down but they are going down still so much quicker than before because of what I've been using. I started using these I think around mid-October and they have been actual game changers for my skin. So first up we have the Sunday Riley Saturn sulfur spot treatment mask this is the one that is shiny and new because my old one looks like this this is empty i'm a step away from chopping it open and squeezing the rest out because i don't like to waste it this has been an absolute dream for speeding up the process of like the spot on my skin it's got um sulfur niacinamide and zinc in it and sulfur and zinc are really good for spots but niacinamide is like really great for the overall appearance of the skin and that's something that I learned about this year and that I have found absolutely game changing for my skin. So I've been using this um, kind of over the top of like scarred patches that I've had. That was what I started off using along with the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. This is an oil but it's actually for blemish prone skin. So it's got salicylic acid in it which really helps your skin gets congested easily and I honestly, I have, since I started using these two, I took progress pictures and the one thing you can really see is like obviously the scarring is deep and the scarring, you can see it lift but it takes a little while but really what you notice in general is how uncongested my skin begins to look and especially around my nose the blackheads disappear and there was one point where I was like I don't have a single blackhead on my nose ever since I was like 13 I've never known my nose to not have blackheads if I don't use it for a couple of days I really see a difference in my skin I've actually started using something new as well so I'm gonna have to start a new series of pictures progress pictures so that we can see if this makes a difference this is the allies of skin promise keeper blemish sleeping facial that was really hard for me to say. This goes on literally after you've cleansed and misted. I also use the Allies of Skin Mist. Where is that? So this is the mist I use. It is gorgeous to the point where I pre-ordered three. I love that. So after cleansing, I mist my face with that. And then I go in with this. This is what makes my skin kind of like peel at the moment. So it's quite dry, especially around my forehead. I'm pretty certain this has niacinamide in it, as well as some other like AHA type um, ingredients and normally that would be a recipe for disaster in my skin but I decided to take a leap of faith and give it a go because I'd heard people that have had really bad hormonal acne I've heard them say that this has even like completely stopped that happening and I don't know if that'll be the case for me but I'm willing to give it a go and if it gets the last little bits of scarring on my face moving I will definitely try it I've also read reviews that are like literally just use this for like a month back to back every single night and you will see like the most amazing results and that's the one thing that i haven't been doing with it yet i've been like doing a couple of nights at a time and then obviously alternating back with this but hopefully that is going to be a key product for 2021 i'm also using an eye cream at the moment i'm using this one from bare minerals this is their skin longevity eye cream and it just feels really nice and light and hydrating but i really should start like cracking on with the eye cream because i ain't getting any younger you know to cleanse i'm using this grand old duo i've got the clinique take the day off cleansing oil and then the oskia renaissance cleansing gel i also have my kate somerville SPF which is an absolute necessity if you are using this or I believe this as well. That is my skin game plan for 2020 along with drink more water because I'm normally so good at that and the past month it's been like I get to five o'clock and I've had it like a glass of water if I am lucky. So I need to get back on that because otherwise I'm going to start looking like a raisin. Chef Ryan back at it. What are you making tonight? Oh classico. Olivey pasta. I haven't got more mm. No, I actually haven't. It's nice. It's like your specialty. Nala's down here. In her Christmas jumper. Nala, baby. <laughs> so cute. You are so cute. No, thanks. Oh, yes. I'm so ready to eat this. This is my second serving of pasta today. You guys, we have just had the best revelation. As to mince pies, you can't see this. As to mince pies, they're suitable for vegans. All I wanted for the past two weeks is a mince pie and some ice cream. Good morning, everybody. I am just putting 
the last finishing touches to my last pieces of work of the year. This is a real moment for me. I've also just put the rosé in the fridge for later. This is one of my favourites. I feel like this has been very a very rosé heavy blogmas. This is one of my absolute favourites. I know you guys loved when I showed um, my favourite one from Tesco's, which I also have in the fridge. This one. This tastes very, very similar, but I think it's about seven pounds. But anyway, this is one of my favorites and you know it's a celebratory moment when it goes in the fridge. I have shipped everyone in my team a bottle of Prosecco or Rosé, so we are all ready for our Zoom call later on this afternoon. A cute little yearly roundup Zoom call, which would usually be over a pizza in real life, but sadly not this year. And I've also just finished finalizing a few orders for the Christmas table plan this year. I'm going all out. My mum's asked me to help with decorating for Christmas day, and I'm so on that. We had some very sad news about a grandparent of mine over the past couple of days, so I'm just really going all out and trying to make this Christmas so, so special for her because it's been a really difficult year. Like, I don't know how she is doing life. She always makes me very proud. It's been a little bit of an emotional December that we are going through. I'm so looking forward to Christmas now. Like, I can feel it. I can feel, like, the festiveness. Oh, I'm so excited just to have, like, a little bit of time with my family, which has been so rare this year. But yeah, that is me out for the year. I am going to sign off for Christmas. I hope you all have a lovely one or as lovely as you can, whatever you are doing. Sending lots of love to you, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.